Hello, um, hi everyone. I just, I didn't start recording this job because I thought it would be a simple job. But it's, it's difficult and it's, uh, I fixed this board, actually I fixed this television, but I want to share it with you because it's probably, it's, it's happened with the many other Sony TVs with those motherboards, looks like that, you know? If you have a Dars motherboard, there's a couple of different model numbers of these TVs. That's a Sony Bravia. This one is um, this one. It's KDL 49 WD 756. But I think uh, this problem is it's it's, it's causing all, all these boards. It looks like that, and the number on this board. I can tell you one second if I find. It's a one slash night eight zero slash three three five slash one two. Okay, I I just put this number for you to, to see. You can have a look here now. Okay, so the problem with this board it's uh, no picture. Okay, when you turn on television, there's a backlight and everything, but there's no picture. And if you check. If you check the fuse on the on the Ticon board, it's fine. You know all the voltages on the Ticon board, it's fine. It's no problem. You know, but there is no picture, and you start thinking, oh, maybe it's it's, it's you know. I start thinking maybe it's a fault with the screen. But when I disconnected the ribbon cables, it was all the time was the same. You know, no different. And also the voltages when on the LVDS connector here. 1.43 volts, all these voltages, LVDS voltages, all those voltages in, you know? So, whoa, what's the hub? What's happened? What's the problem is, you know? I thought it's a, like I said, it's a screen, but, you know, it's hard to believe because everything looks fine here, you know? There's a completely black screen. Sometimes if it's a problem with the screen, you could have some bad picture or some, you know, distorted picture or, or anything on the screen, you know, lines or anything. But this time was completely black, nothing happened, you know, tick on working, perfect, voltage is all in, you know, and I find there is a small chip here, and I think it's uh, some mocks for the for the LVDS, you know, and this uh, chip has no um, power supply voltage, this should be 1.9, 1, 1 1.1 1 .1 volt, uh, volt on the power supply here, so uh, that's, that's chip. It's uh, supplied by the chip number IC6016. That's a 1.1 voltage regulator, okay? And there was no 1.1 volt here, you know? And it was no short, but there's no 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 voltages to supply the small chip, the, the MOX, okay? So um, I couldn't find actually the same, the, the same chip but I see you. I, I show you in the description what you what, what you can use, use except this chip. You know the the, the regu regulator. You can use the different chip. That's the you can buy this in China or on eBay. I use the chip from the broken board. I have the same board with the broken. I think something else was broken here. I replaced that chip. You know and it's working fine. We have the voltages and everything. You know. So that's one. I want to tell you this is very interesting. Very fine. Very you know probably common fault on this TV because I read on the internet that people has this problem with, with this. Some people did, you know, they, they actually don't know of, you know, many engineers think that's uh, causing the, the screen is the problem, you know. Uh, you know, and the other thing, it's, it's a Sony, okay? So if you replace the board from the other model TV, probably will not work because, you know, there's a connection with the tick on the, the, the you know the chip, you know the the processor checking the numbers on the tick on. You know it's not matching. The, it's not pairing on. So it's a big problem to replace the board. You know you have the, you, you you need a board. If you want to swap the board, you need a, from the, exactly the same model number with the same tick on. So be, better if you try to to fix this this board anyway. You know so it's a small chip. It's cost you maybe five dollars on eBay or somewhere, and you can charge customer for example. 150 200 euros to, to fix that, you know. And uh, why we charge that? Because we spent about one hour to find out what the problem is, you know. So we need a charge anyway for, for, for that kind of repair, you know. 
right? Okay, so I hope I hope you 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 learn something from this, you know, and you use this for maybe your TV. Okay, thank you very much. Like if you subscribe.